So thanks again for tuning back into Novice Explorer Radio. Stay tuned to see the new van life fashions live from Applecross Pass and Highland Cattle up close and personal. Yes, Colin, they leave the mainland behind and experience Flora's first of many ferries. <laughs> We left Ben Nevis with a huge sense of accomplishment, looking forward to resting our legs, but keen to move on and explore pastures new. We headed west and drove over the bridge that connects the Isle of Skye to the mainland. Despite the wet and windy weather, we managed to get out and see some of what Skye has to offer. Starting with Old Man of Store, not just a sea stack with fantastic coastal vistas, it was also a film location in Game of Thrones. We found it hard to vlog in this weather, but we were productive in other ways, spending time catching up on video editing and blog writing. We found a great secluded spot near Trumpen on the northwest peninsula. We stayed here for two nights, exploring the area during the brief sunny spells. We then began our landmark spotting tour, starting with Nice Point Lighthouse, opened in 1909, where the light can be seen 16 nautical miles away. We then descended onto the popular ferry pools near Glen Brittle. On a good day, the water is a clear, bright blue. We donned the walking boots and made our way up the path and across the streams, via stepping stones. Not so easy when the streams were swollen with the day's rainfall. Talking of rainfall, it hammered it down as we got halfway up. It drenched us to our pants. We should have worn our rain max. However, this meant that we had the magical waterfalls all to ourselves. Every cloud does have a silver lining. After our three nights on Sky, it was time to say goodbye, crossing the bridge back to the mainland on the hunt for a place to camp. When the weather outside is frightful, but the van is so delightful, when you got no place to go, <laughs> to the dish is on the floor. <clears throat> so good morning and welcome to a very wet Loch Caron. Yes, we are about to begin our little snippet of the North Coast 500, uh, starting at Loch Caron, and we're going to do the Apple Cross Pass, mm -hmm. and then make our way up using the North Coast 500 route to Ullapool. Yeah, we're catching our ferry tomorrow evening sort of time, that's across to Stornoway, and then we're going to do the islands for the next almost two weeks I think not quite not quite but it's a it's a few days but um, we just came off sky last night it was quite late so we struggled to find a park up spot and didn't get a very good one um, so this morning we moved quickly and had to find another pullover stop just to have some food and clean up and stuff so we're a bit behind today unfortunately we spent a long time last night looking for a park up yeah it's a bit annoying we yes. shouldn't risk it should we sometimes to find the good ones yeah we went well out of our way. So we are heading to the famous Applecross Pass, uh, well known for its views, um, but also quite well known for being narrow roads. And today's outfit, it is all in grey, which I quite like. 
Um, but you didn't really want to get out and get milk, did you? <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't get any tanning yet. <laughs> oh, Lord above. This is one of the highest roads in Britain, reaching 2,053 feet. It feels like we were driving into the clouds. Tight hairpin bends up to the highest point felt like I was driving on Top Gear. It was mostly a single track road with more passing places than we've had hot dinners. However, these were very much needed as we met plenty of other vehicles most of them ogling the views too. <laughs> Near the end of the pass we pulled in for a photo in front of the pine log stack. The scent was wonderful and finding wild raspberries even better. And now after that epic drive we find ourselves in Applecross which is a tiny little community. It has got a coffee shop, a pub, and a couple of shops and a petrol station so we've just had a coffee and got some wi-fi in the coffee shop so we're roaring and ready to go so we've hopped back in the van and we're going to continue a little bit more on the north coast 500 for a short while uh, taking all the lovely views we're going to slowly make our way towards Isle of Paul, hopefully but not directly in um, because tomorrow we catch our ferry about five o'clock but we've got a lot of stuff to do beforehand we've got to buy food and diesel and supplies to last us um, ten days I think we're doing the Outer Hebrides for so we need to make sure that we're stocked up as much as possible because I think it's gonna be very expensive over there and probably few and far between so yeah that's it for today we're gonna to carry on driving soak in some more of the uh, lovely views find somewhere to kip and take it easy hopefully I'm sure I'm doing Meg's head in now because I keep asking to pull over every five minutes. Uh, but look at that. It's absolutely worth it. It's an incredible day today. Back in the van. I'm sure I'll be back out in two seconds though. The route was absolutely amazing. We thought that the sea being this crystal clear and turquoise was a rarity. But no, this is what it's like most days. We couldn't resist getting a bird's eye view as we thought this may be our only chance, but we were mistaken. Stay tuned for future videos. We were now a bit disappointed that we wouldn't be sticking to the North Coast 500 route, but we hoped that we'd made the right decision by seeing the islands instead. We started here at Blackwater Falls. So, me and Meg are now ready to kickstart our morning. We had a good night's sleep here. Uh, the van is just up there. And the waterfall was just there, but luckily we couldn't hear it in the night. We had a really nice, quiet sleep. Um, there's a few other campers up there, but it's a really nice spot away from the road. And there was toilets as well which is pretty handy. We have now vacated our spot for the night at Black Water Falls and we are heading towards Ullapool. Uh, that is where we will catch our ferry later this evening. We've got a lot of jobs to do uh, before we go. As I think we've already mentioned, we're there for about 10 days. We need diesel, we need food. We need water, we need our supplies to be stuffed up. That's what we're doing today. Me and Meg are going to split off and do our different jobs.
So now it's a bit of Maggie time. We're going to go do some shopping, some jobs. I leave Callum in a Wi-Fi cafe for a little while. He hates doing it. I like it, and it is also valuable time apart, which you sometimes need in your day-to-day -day van life lifestyle. You get on each other's pip just a little bit. Not too much so far, but yeah, so let the shopping commence. Normally I do prefer to shop more locally than this behind me, but in Ullapool there doesn't seem to be that many options. Uh, I have been down to the farmer's market today, but there wasn't much edible things available. You will never guess what we have just done. We have just had three showers. They were quite nice. Mm. Extremely hot. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ullapool uh, Ferry Port. Um, complimentary. No, the ferries are just the towns. It's just public toilets. Yeah, but it's attached to the ferry ports, which is perfect. Ullapool has been spot on. Today we have got water, fuel, food shopped, got rid of waste, recycled. Postcards, sent postcards. All little bits we need. And showered. Yeah, I feel fresh as a daisy now because our ferry leaves at seven o'clock, but we don't get in until half nine and we haven't got anywhere booked to camp. We're hoping to find somewhere, but now we're sort of like watered. I mean, but now we're cleaned and stuff and ready to go. And the sun's shining, so what more can you possibly want? But I'm feeling fresh. You washed your hair, obviously. I know, that felt really good. I didn't. Really? This is second shower and we are nearly two weeks yesterday two weeks in <laughs> can you believe it we've had a wild one though yeah wild one and then we do wash like in a bucket <laughs> i wash myself in this rag on this thing it is horrendously glamorous uh, The ferry took two and a half hours to Stornoway. We made ourselves comfortable and got a bit of work done. We bagged ourselves a plug socket and there was free ferry Wi-Fi. What's that Teddy Ralph? <laughs> he wants to say hello to Woolly Cod Wanderers that will be watching at home. Hello! So we are now on the Our Isle. Roundabout, take the second <laughs> exit to Sandwick Road. We're now on the Isle of Lewis and we are looking for our first camping spot. We had a really good passing, uh, everything with the ferry went really well, so that's all good. It's getting dark, so we're hoping to find something relatively soon. We've got a couple of ideas. Forward three quarter miles, turn right onto Lower Babel. We just hope that we don't have to drive or look for too long tonight because we're quite tired. It's been a, quite a long day, so the sooner the better. We'll be good. So we've just seen one potential park up spot, but it's a bit, well, it's quite close to the road and it's obviously a bit of a well-known one because there's facilities and stuff. So we're taking the slight risk and just pushing on a little bit further, about 10 minutes, down smaller roads. There seems to be no one about and hoping that we can find somewhere a little bit more secluded, a little bit more chilled out. Um, hopefully that doesn't come around to bite us in the bum. Um, it's got absolutely so fun. Bite us in the bum. I don't know what that's doing. Uh, but yeah, we're just hoping that we made the right choice this time by trying to like explore a little bit further beyond the more obvious spots. Who knows? We'll find out in a second. 
we found a spot and it's a bit of nice. So we're going to be a little bit quiet, get ready for bed tonight because it's about 10 o'clock and there's a couple of big motorhomes behind us. Um, so we don't think there's space for us, but we've kind of like nestled ourselves into a corner and we think we're out of the way. Uh, hopefully we don't get told to move. Uh, but we're like basically on a pier at the minute, very small one obviously, but like mm. the sea is feet away. It's incredible. Mm. It'd be Looking to see what it looks like in the morning. Definitely. See you tomorrow, sweet mm. dreams. Signing off. Hopefully the next shot you'll see is a beautiful sunrise over the sea. Sunrise, you're getting a bit. Yeah, you're not going to see that. <laughs>